Well, in this video, we are going to see adjacent cell errors in Excel calculations, which is one of the most common errors. Um, we'll see why it occurs and how you can solve that. So let's go ahead and have a look. Over here, you can see that we have our monthly budget template that we have been using in this video series. Now, it looks pretty much clean over here uh, of whatever functions and calculations that we have done yet. So you can see that it's pretty clean, right? Now, over here, we have um, our headers, which have January, February, March label. But obviously, we don't know if it's, you know, 2020, 2021. So let me just introduce um, year over here. So let me say Jan 2020 and Feb 2020 and March 2020. Right? And you will see that it has changed to date instead of text. Now, as soon as I do that, you will notice that something has changed where we have our calculation formulas, especially, uh, you know, over here where we have calculated totals, min, max, average count. You will see that there is a green triangle on the left hand side of the cell of each cell. And when you highlight that cell, there's a small diamond box which appears. And when you hover your mouse over that, it says, the formula in the cell refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it. Now, when you look at it, uh, you might say that, oh, there are so many errors and we have to go and fix all those errors. It is not necessarily uh, an error. What Microsoft Excel tries to do is that it tries to help you all the time, right? So, uh, for example, in our previous videos, you saw that, you know, when you choose a function, um, it tries to fill up the parameters automatically in the functions argument window. Right. Similarly, over here, what it's trying to do is that it's trying to help you out because it it only recognizes text and numbers. So as soon as I introduce numbers on the header, uh, Excel recognized that there are numbers over here and over here we are calculating a sum. So according to Excel, we might be missing to include this cell. Right. It gives you some options. So if you click on the diamond, it will say, what do you want to do with this error? You know, it says formula omits adjacent cells, that is the top level. And then do you want to update the formula to include the cells? Or do you need help on this errors? Or do you just want to ignore the errors? Or do you want to edit the formula bar and so on? If I say that, okay, go ahead and update the formula to include the cells, and you will notice that the error is gone, but well, this is not the sum. But why is it happening? Well, if you double click on this, you will notice that it has now included the header as well because it considered that as a number behind the scenes. Well, this is not correct and we can just uh, undo this by clicking on Control Z. Well, sometimes Excel might be right. You know, you might have forgotten to include a cell and it can help you in that manner. But right now what you can do is just select this range of cells where you see that triangle, click on the diamond box and say, well, we just want to ignore the error because it's not an error actually. The adjacent cell errors just disappears. So I hope by now you know look like what is adjacent cell errors, why does it occur and what you can do about it. So stay tuned for our next videos.